Hey Taurus, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. It's been a minute. I hope y'all are doing amazing. I myself am doing amazing. I took a brief sabbatical <laughs> and um, learned some things and visited some places and it was um, amazing and I am back stronger than ever. Not that I was ever weak, but I wanted to, uh, I just needed a break from reading. I needed to improve my skills. I did a bunch of studying, created a bunch of stuff and um, I am just, um, I've grown in my craft, okay? I've grown in my craft and I feel really good about it. So. Today is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading very, mel very well may resonate with you. This is a general reading. So as always, never make decisions off of a general reading because it's general. It's a thread that runs through the planetary position of the universe at the moment, okay? It's just the thread. If you want a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com and we will hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. So that being said, Taurus, well, let's dig in. This is a big one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, so you open this reading with the Ten of Cups, right? Um, happiness, harmony in, in your life to the five of cups, but there is despair and sadness. So that tells me that this 10 of cups can't possibly mean harmony, marriage, happiness, and values alignment. This card has to mean the flip side, a misalignment of values in a broken home or a broken marriage, right? To broken relationship to the Five of Cups. This Five of Cups is loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. To the Five of Swords, because of conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, and or mind games, right? This spurred you, Taurus, to head out on your own with the Fool card and start anew, start afresh, start anew, to the world card, a brand new cycle. So you close out the bullshit cycle. You close out the, um, the, the misalignment of values and the breakup. You close out the feelings of despair. You move on from that. You close out the five of swords, all the bullshit with betrayal and deception and just shady behavior. You close it all out and you head out with the fool card, um, taking a leap of faith on a journey of your own. Okay. All right. Period new paragraph. The sun card comes in and says that you have manifested happiness, success, and vitality into your life. To the six of pentacles, you have manifested prosperity. Not only do you have enough, but you have enough to share. Your life is good and your life is happy. You have manifested this for yourself. You have manifested this for yourself based on your actions, based on your passionate actions of exploration, discovery, free spirit, and enthusiasm. Your life is cherry, Taurus, to the Empress. I mean, what else can I say? This is the culmination of all four queens into one badass energy, right? She's got her mental in check. She has her passions in check. She has her feels in check and she has her security in check. She is the boss biatch and she represents abundance, creation, building. And this is the card of Taurus sitting on your motherfucking throne. Booyah. Booyah. So that's where you're at, right? Now, here comes it again, the five of wands, right? Disagreements, competition, strife, tension, conflict to the five of swords. Oops, hold up. To the five of swords. <laughs> same, same stuff, right? Conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, mind games to the six of swords. A regretful but necessary fucking transition to the emperor to create control and establishment in your life. 
possibly transitioning from an emperor, possibly getting out of a situation that is completely inflexible. Put it where it goes. This caused heartbreak. Oh shit, you guys can't even see those. This caused, caused heartbreak, grief, pain, rejection. And with the six of wands, somebody has fallen out of your good graces or is in a state of disrepute, which would be all this bullshit back here, right? So it would kind of go like this, actually, if, if we were to tell it in a timeline, okay? So, all right, recap, right? Breakup, conflict, closing out a cycle, taking a new journey, creating, manifesting happiness, abundance, new opportunities, sitting in the throne of your power like the empress you are. Then we have the recap, right? Conflict, 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 sixes, six of swords, the emperor, inflexibility, a regretful but necessary transition, heartbreak, and somebody has fallen from your good graces and is in a state of disrepute. Come down here and we start with the three of cups this is about reunion reunion reuniting with somebody these three people right here they're they're celebrating they're clacking their cups together and they're like hey I haven't seen you in forever right you have the fruit of autumn on the ground there it's like it's been they've been away for the summer they're all just finally coming home getting back together talking about all of their journeys and their adventures right it's kind of that kind of feeling so this is about reuniting right to the prince of swords princess of swords there is some kind of a small little quick communication that comes into you, possibly from somebody younger than you, but nevertheless, some kind of short, quick, to the point communication comes in about reuniting with teamwork and collaboration. Okay. Now I do want to point out, and I am not saying this. I just want to point it out that the three of pentacles oftentimes for me indicates the shadow of a third party situation. Um, I can almost see it like somebody coming out of a relationship, but that person still shadowing back here and trying to start a new relationship with this shadow still back here. And, um, yeah, so that's what I always feel about that Three of Pentacles. And of course, the Three of Cups, oftentimes everybody says it is the, you know, the third party situation card. And it is if it's in reverse or if it can be re read in reverse with the cards around it. It's about stifled creativity as well, which tells me that the creation of anything between you was definitely stifled because you guys were not in communication with each other because now there is um, messages and communication about reuniting and having some teamwork and collaboration. Okay? Okay. This puts you in the energy of the Five of Pentacles with the Hangman. All you're doing is sitting around thinking about all the bullshit that went on up here, right? So this communication comes into you, short, sweet, quick communication about, about reuniting or communication that rectifies the situation and opens the door for more communication, right? But all you can do is think about the five of pentacles, right? You're like, what the fuck? Really? Seriously? Seriously, after all this Five of Pentacles bullshit, all this conflict, all this bullshit, you want to talk to me about reuniting? Judgment in the center of your reading. This is what the entire reading is about. It's about your need to make a decision through contemplation and reevaluation of the communication that came in about manifesting a new opportunity. This whole reading is based around what decision you are going to make in this judgment card. The world card comes in and talks about um, closing out a cycle. Hold up. No, this world card comes in. Yeah, it's kind of kind of closing out a cycle. This is about um, um, getting self-healing, right? Doing self-healing, which is what you have damn well done right there, 
right? A lot of self-healing. You're feeling really good about yourself. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse talks about loneliness and loss, okay? So you've gotten over the loneliness and loss. And the Two of Wands comes in and talks about you planning for your future. So, you know, this little deck, of, this little stack of cards right here goes with this right here. You've gotten over the loneliness and the loss, the disappointment, and you're, you've closed out a cycle. You're starting a new cycle and you're thinking about your future, right? And then lo and behold, income messages about commitment, right? This is directly underneath this message of reuniting and reconciling teamwork and collaboration. And the um, Hierophant represents commitment, right? To the Four of Wands, building a foundation of stability and structure. To the Four of Pentacles, bringing security and control to the situation. To the Princess of Pentacles, manifesting a new opportunity. And the Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling. Right? That's big. That's huge. That's like all commitment and stuff, right? I mean, and like it's out of like nowhere, it's out of like nowhere. It starts with a little message to test the waters and it opens the door for this big vomiting of intentions. Now, star card to the king of swords or king of swords to the star. Now you have to make some kind of gigantically important decision in your life about renewal. Is there enough hope to have enough faith that this relationship can be renewed? That's your decision. That's what you're trying to figure out in the judgment card. Prince of Wands comes in and talks about taking passionate action. The Eight of Wands comes in and talks about communication. Not only communication, but eight is about movement, action, change, a rebirth, an accomplishment, success, right? So this communication is positive, inspired, passionate communication that, it, that is, let's see, is it being returned? Uh, let's not say that yet, okay? But you definitely have to make the decision about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this situation, either because of passionate messages that brought you this message and spoke some truth, or this is you returning this communication with passionate action, and it is your truth. So let's see what's next. Um, okay. Your challenge is Eight of Wands, movement. Why the challenge? I'm so confused. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, 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 okay. You're challenged. Okay. You're challenged by this King of Wands who is the, 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 the other person in this reading to be in a love relationship, to be lovers, to the Princess of Pentacles, to manifest something new, to the King of Pentacles, to manifest control, stability, and security in this relationship. Okay. Now this can also be read that your challenge is to create the energy of the King of Wands, to create abundance and um, control and power and all that good stuff to have leverage, um, to create that with this person because there is a misalignment of values with the Lover's card. And the Princess of Pentacles in reverse talks about... Um, um, short-term focus, right? So they're coming in with all of this, but you don't think that they're seeing the big picture, right? You don't think that they're seeing the big picture. So that could be your challenge is to create this with that person, however it goes. But nevertheless, whew, we have the seven of swords. There is um, 
betrayal and deception. You just don't trust this. You don't trust this offer from this person. You don't trust this person. Okay. And this whole thing coming into you puts you in a 10 of wands energy of struggle and burden struggle and burden because when it comes to a two of cups love relationship with this person you doubt your own subconscious mind right you it's it's doubtful it's it's doubtful that that you could ever really be any that that you could either give or receive messages of love if you could reciprocate the sharing of feelings, okay, with this person. The wheel comes in and says that this this is one way or another a turning point in your destiny. You're either going to go forward with this and that's going to be the turning point in your destiny or you are going to not go forward with this and that too will be a turning point in your destiny. Okay. Oh, outcome pulled some outcome cards and that's interesting Taurus okay I hold on I'm trying to wrap my brain around all of this so you have a major major decision to make about going all in reuniting reconciling full-blown commitment with somebody from your past who in the past has done you wrong they've done you shady they've done you wrong you're strong and in control of your life life is really good right now and you have to make the the judgment decision if you want to join forces with this person from your past and go all in and have a turning point in your destiny in regards to your path after you make a commitment like this or not or just stay on your own and stay just find on your own because you don't trust this person you don't trust the offer you don't trust their motivations you don't trust it and I'm here to tell you that you should listen to your intuition or get to the bottom of something before you do make a massive decision in your life, okay? Um, so outcome. So we have the Ten of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles right there for your outcome spirit. What's the rest of the outcome for this, for this reading for Taurus? What's the rest of the outcome? It's a whole book. It's the reading in a summary. Uh... Eight of Swords, right, in your head, coming to a fruition, to a situation, coming to success in a situation. The King of Wands wants to engage with you, wants hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, wants justice in an unjust situation, throws you into hangman energy about reuniting and reconciling, but it makes you ecstatically happy that it did come through ecstatically happy that it did come through however you think that it's wishful thinking and that might be part of the justice right just just being vindicated just being vindicated just getting a an apology and being vindicated in the first place right doesn't necessarily have to go into a full-blown relationship but it's nice to know that somebody admits being an asshole um to the Knight of Wands in reverse, unrealistic, right? The Knight of Wands in reverse is scattered energy, right? And you're not sure you want that kind of thing. What else? Going into the Hermit energy. Spirit, you're not going to give us any resolution here, are you? You're not going to give us any answers, are you? Because this is something that Taurus has to figure out for themselves. Spirit cannot give you guidance on this. There is too much free will involved here. There is too much free will involved here. Too much free will. Totally in self-protection mode. I tried to ignore that card, but I just can't. Totally in self-protection mode. And I saw another one flip too. I think it was the Emperor. What? I thought, oh, yeah, look. Okay. Totally in self-protection mode. Um the emperor it just keeps going they're not going to give you guidance because if if spirit were to say this is what's going to happen in your future that would be interfering 
in a way that they're not allowed to interfere in our life. Understand that? They can't interfere. They don't have free will. They cannot interfere in our lives unless we invite them to, right? With them, whatever that is, spirit, angels, God, aliens, whatever you freaking believe, right? It's not going to come into your life unless you invite it into your life. That's why I'm protected with um, the, the energies and stuff that I deal with. Because if I don't invite it into my life, it's not going to come into my life. And when I do tarot card readings, all y'all know I'm friendly and I love y'all and I really, really want the best for you. But the moment I become your friend is the moment I can't read your cards anymore because then my feelings are involved in the situation, right? So um, the spirit can't intervene in your life unless he's invited. So he can't give you guidance to, as to what decision to make because he would be, or he, she, it, whatever, would be interfering in, um, in, in destiny, okay? Okay. That being said, um, what they can do is answer questions. Is this in my best good? Is this in my best interest? Do you have advice for me? Okay, we can do something like that. But as far as, as spirit telling you what it is that you should do in this situation isn't going to happen. And that, my friends, concludes this reading. This reading leaves off with you in the same place that we kind of started with, right? Not knowing what direction to go, not knowing, um, not knowing anything, wanting the Ten of Pentacles, wanting to be the Queen of Pentacles to this King of Wands, this, this Emperor, this, you know, but you're undecided. You're undecided and this reading will stop with you being undecided because you have to make a decision. When you come back to me and make a decision that says, okay, I'm making the decision to do this or I'm making the decision not to do this, then and only then can we ask spirit if the decision that you're making is in your best interest, right? Because we don't know what decision you're making right now, so it's hard to say if it's in your best interest or not. So anyway, that being said is why um, you should use discernment when you watch general tarot card readings. So anyway, Taurus, that was our reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I don't know if this is going to happen in my life or not. I resonate with a lot of it, but I do believe that the rest of it um, just simply is not my story and it does not apply. So if it was your story and it applies, I hope that I helped. I hope that I get to give some clarification and some understanding about your situation and if it didn't resonate you sure did wait all the way to the end figure that out so maybe it did resonate just a little bit bye y'all namaste